So, okay, we could just rap for a second. How many, how many people have seen Who's Slide before? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> and you came back. Awesome. Okay, real quick. For those of uh, you who have not seen this before, hey, haven't I heard of this game before? Yes, we abjectly fucking stole it from every other conference that's ever tried to do it. Um, I actually got it from a rogue clown who did it at ThoughtCon years ago. And I said, hey, this looks like a cool thing to do. Do you want to do it with me at DEF CON? She's like, fuck no, I don't, but you can go ahead. No, she didn't want to be involved in any way. So what we do, me and my team of slide monkeys create random slide decks Mostly memes, mostly GIFs. Uh, there are no actual, somebody came up to me and go, oh, is this all sales pitches? I was like, the, would we have lasted eight fucking years with sales pitches with this group of people? You can answer, go ahead, yes or no? All right, very good, that's what I thought. Um, and so your contestants are gonna come up on the stage, they're gonna pick a card out of a card deck, that's gonna be the number of their slide. They have to present that slide, having never seen these abominations before, and they have to do it in such a way where they're the ones that wrote it. And God save me, if one of them says, oh, I, I, I don't know what this, I didn't write that, boo them off the fucking stage. They don't deserve to be up here. By the way, the funnest part of this contest are the people that fuck up the most. We don't want really great people up here. Um, and you get, you get to say you spoke at DEF CON. So, <laughs> right, well, you, Put on your resume. They don't check your education, they're not gonna fucking check that. <laughs> now I gotta find my uh, cards. By the way, for anybody who knows, my master slide general is uh, at a Jedi day on Twitter. Uh, so blame him for all of these. He likes to hide shit in here because he knows I don't QA any of this. <laughs> One year at DerbyCon, I was looking for a job and uh, a whole slide deck just about hiring me. Oh, okay, very good, thank you. And then my, my guys do bullshit like that. Okay, I think, I think we're ready to go. What do you guys think? Well, let's get this shit over with. What the fuck? Yeah. I've always wanted a gong! Whoever brought that, I love, one of our, oh, real quick, one of our first, our first show was uh, DEF CON 25. And I thought it would be cool to buy like one of those little gongs you can hold? Yeah. <laughs> you have no idea how happy that makes me. And um, we tried to hit it from up here and the only people that could hear it were the people on the stage. So I'm like, all right, well, fuck it. There's actual monks walking, oh, oh shit. I, I don't know what this is. No, I don't, no, I don't. What the fuck is this? <laughs> okay, for <laughs> there's What's... no crying in baseball. <laughs> I'm really trying not to. <laughs> okay, so this, the gong says, "Who side is it anyway?" What? I, I'm sorry, like, it's not you, like, I really like hearing myself talk, but I don't have anything to say right now. Um, you guys are, wow, <laughs> it's okay, thank you. I don't know, I don't, I, like, there's really nothing else I don't know how to say right now. Like, who came up, did you come up with this? We came up with this last year while I was hacking dress. Because yeah. we were sitting at the bar and you're like, hey, no, 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 no. Yeah. so you were sitting at the bar and you're like, I don't know if we've been doing this too long, if people are still into this show, and we got the heckling section going with semen. Yes, yes. Always with semen. It's always a crowd pleaser. <laughs> we were sitting there after the bar, and I'm like, I have to do something, not just for whose slide, but for Rando, because of how much he puts into this community as a goon, as a mentor, as a friend, as someone who throws this thing on every year. Because you've got too much stuff going on.
and he, my stupid ass is like, oh, it didn't occur to me that, like, it just was somebody's gong that they had and just fucking brought it for some reason. I was like, well, that's a coincidence. All right, let's fucking do this. All right, let's just, all right, I don't know what I'm doing. Now you have a new disqualification rule. Oh, okay, apparently we, now we have a, some more rules in place. Um, our rules really exist as we decide them, so... Bribes are allowed. Uh, people bribe us all year long to come up here, and judges are allowed to make them. And whoever brings me a fucking live gong, like a live-sized gong, can make whatever rule they want. So, what's your adjustment? That's how you disqualify people. We get to disqualify people with a fucking gong. <laughs> I'm fucking on top of the world. <laughs> all right. Here's your hammer. Oh, I get the hammer. I'm gonna get off the stage. <laughs> I fucking hell. Okay. Um, anyway, it kind of leads into how I like to start these things. This is such a silly game show. Hacker Jeopardy is an iconic, silly fucking game show. But from the second I started here at DEF CON, my first one wasn't that long ago, it was DC24. And then the contest came, and then my gooning came. Because I found my people here. And I am very sentimental about each and every one of you. I fucking love this community. I love hackers, and we do this for you to entertain you. So thank you for showing up. And now time for the first sacrifice, so I can stop fucking talking. Uh, Sif. Sif, where are you? Come on. Yeah, welcome, Sif. Big round of applause for Sif. Welcome, welcome. Uh, why don't you tell people who are you and what do you do? Hi, my name is Sip, and I am a self goon, and I yell at people a lot. We don't yell, we powerfully project. I yell. Most, most times we fucking yell. All right, here's how we're going to do this. I have a deck of cards. She does not know what these are. I do not know which one she's going to pick, but she's going to pick a number and present it like she is the presenter. Sif, please pick your card. Slide deck number 20. Now let me navigate a laptop that is not mine. Do I get a microphone or do I just project? Uh, no, you're going to... Um, actually, oh shit. Uh, would, does one of those work? Yeah. <laughs> we thought this ahead. Is it on? Does this work? This one works. Okay, go get that one. Have you tried turning it on and off again? It's wireless. It's not wireless. I'd like to tell you this normally goes smoother, but that'd be a fucking lie. You can lie to them. They're not going to check. Okay, she's going to present, and you just tell me when you want the next slide. Uh, sure. Can I see the slide? There. Yeah, they're down on the confidence monitors. Now, I cannot see. Bad enough not being emotional, and yet I am right now. All right, how do four fuck is it? Stupid Max. All right, give it up for Sif. Hello and welcome to DEF CON's first Furby Hacking Village. This is our very first year at DEF CON in 2025, and we're really excited to be here with you guys. As we all know, Furbies have been steadily taking over the world as they've, uh, well, they, they started reproducing themselves, as we're all aware, and ever since they started doing that, it's become harder and harder to live in the places that they've started to inhabit. At first it was just Antarctica, and everyone was like, well, you know, we're going to cede that to them. And then they started taking over parts of Russia, but nobody really lives there anyway, so we thought it was fine. But now they've started to encroach into China and Europe, and we're worried about this, so we've decided to start helping tackle this problem by having a Furby hacking village. Can I get the next slide? Yes. Furbies, we've all seen them. We understand the horrors that they can inflict upon the human body when they get going. 
I am not allowed to put images on these slides. I did try, however, I was tackled by security and they've removed the images from my slides. So I will allow your imagination to conjure up what the Furbies have done that we all know that they have done. And I am here to gather you all to help defeat them. Next slide. The NSA banned the Furbies back in 1999. They were trying to protect us, and this worked for a time. They kept us safe for nearly 26 years. Unfortunately, when they unbanned them in 2024, we didn't really anticipate what would happen next. We didn't anticipate that they would come for us. And here we are now. But we believe that Furbies can be defeated. We believe that you can do it, that you can find their weakness and exploit it before their tiny little teeth tear through your flesh. Next slide, please. Tiger's Electronics. We understand that they didn't mean for this to happen. Corporations rarely mean for this to happen. Boeing didn't mean for those three airplanes to fall out of the sky and hit the White House. <laughs> But it happens, and we have to deal with this. And it's unfortunately left up to us since the CEO of Tiger Electronics was eaten last fall, as I'm sure you're all aware. Next slide, please. Yeah. We've all seen them. We know them. But they can be killed. They can be killed. I believe in this. I believe we can kill them. I've tried a knife, it didn't work very well. I still have a couple of scars from that one. But I've heard some people have said some of them connect to wireless and we might be able to use that. I don't know, that, that's your guys' job. You're here at the village. Next slide. Fuck. These wretched, wretched creatures. We are going to destroy them. We're going to do it. They're not. Did someone hear something in the hall? Oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh, fuck, okay, no, no, I don't think it was a Furby. I, don't, I think it was a Webkins, I think we're good. I think we're good, it's okay, okay. Next slide, please. We all know that they can lie to us. We know they can imitate our voices. It's why voice activated locks will not keep a Furby out. We know this much. Unfortunately, they've started to grow hands recently. I'm not sure if everyone's up to date. I mean, I kind of assume you are, it's been all over CNN, but the hands are a bit of a problem. No, that's not, okay. No, sorry, sorry, it's it. Fuck, okay. No, we're fine, we're fine. They can't get in here. They can't get in here. The Vegas heat burns out their batteries. We're fine, we're fine. Maybe we should turn off the air conditioning in here. It's fine, it's okay. Ne next slide, please. <sighs> Some people, as I'm sure you're all aware, have decided to side with the Furbies. We've attempted to kill them and keep them out of our Furby village. That being said, we are expecting some infiltrators. So if you see anyone who looks like they may be a Furby sympathizer or a Furby cultist, just stab them with a knife. Just, just do it, just stab them with a knife. We, we can't take any fucking risks, we can't let them in here. They can't get, I have scars on my legs, we can't do this again. I won't go through this again. Next slide. Here's the Furby anatomy. Their weak points are generally the uh, slides of the shell. Um, sometimes if you can kind of get a knife really good in there, you can pry one apart. Uh, it doesn't seem to stop them. That's when the tentacles come out and try and pull it back together. But if you keep stabbing, I, I think that might do something. Something has to do something. There has to be a way to stop them. There has to be a way to stop them. Next slide, please. This is one that we were able to kill. Sort of, it's not actually dead, it was sort of in a stasis. We got its batteries out. Um, it came back to life, it's probably got the scars on my legs. But we, we got it unshelled. This is how we learned some of their internal anatomy. It's very important that you memorize this because it may save your life if we can figure out something that this is useful for. We, we haven't really killed one yet, but we're going to. I swear we're going to. This is going to be okay. This is going to be okay. Next slide, please. <sighs> I have warned you. I have warned you. Some of the Furbies have recently uh, made some adaptive measures that, again, I think we're all aware of. You can't fuck the Furbies. They're going to kill you. I know you want to. I know some of them really look fuckable, but you cannot fuck the Furbies. They just, 
kill you. Get him with a knife. Get him with a knife. <laughs> You're not trying Listen. hard enough. You Listen. absolutely can. <laughs> Listen, if you want to go fuck the Furbies, you are welcome to, and then we won't have to fucking deal with you anymore. Fuck the Furbies. Come on, Janet. Yeah. No. No. You go do it. You go get that stabbed in you. I'm not doing it. Yeah, what asks that to the person whose blood is all over the wall out there? Next slide, please. With pleasure. <laughs> this is one of the many projects that we're working on. This is not actually a Furby, although it may appear to be one. This is a fake Furby that we are using as a decoy to attempt to smuggle bombs into Furby layers to destroy them. <laughs> Again, if you want to go get yourself killed, you're welcome to. You are my... They're here. They're here. Oh. <laughs> We've seen some pretty weird shit during this contest. <laughs> That's going towards the top. Uh, all right, let us start with our distinguished table of judges. I did not overstock like I did that one time when we were at Planet Hollywood and had 25 of them on stage. We have a very reasonable one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one of my other slide master generals and the one who brought order to our scoring system so you can't just say you get three raspberry pies and a dildo. You need numbers. I guess there's a conversion for that number. Somebody else figure it out. You're hackers. Fuck it. Evil Mog! Oh, yeah. Sorry I'm late, I got kind of caught up in shenanigans, but yeah, laptop works, so we're good. I felt that presentation was genuinely lack in, or lacking in the tying to the theme material. The Furby had so much possibilities in that, especially that she did Dirty on Sting, so I'm a little bit sad she didn't sing the lyrics out, so I'm going to give her a 40. A 40? Okay, out of, what are we scoring out, out of? Out of 100. Out of 100. Okay, today I learned we score out of 100 this time. 40 out of 100. Clearly. Oh, they are not happy with you, Mog. Your tears make me happy. Mog is Simon this year. I'm getting excited here. Please keep booing. Up. <laughs> Give it to Malware Jake. Uh, up next, Malware Jake Williams. Yeah, I gotta tell you, that was fantastic. I had you at a 96 until you said you can't fuck a Furby. Right? Because I can't get into where I was last night, but I'm gonna have to give you 69 Furby fuckers. The illustrious, the gorgeous, Steve Reagan. I love you. So, I was with you all the way up until the Furby slander, again, Saying you can't fuck a Furby, that's just wrong. I'm going to give you a 64 and remind you that Furby is love and Furby is life. Sorry, I have to remember somebody's name. Uh, and a DEF CON black badge winner, Miss Elise Dennis. I don't know how you con me into this every year, Rando. You're, you're the one that says, hey, listen, I really want to judge, but can you like, not make it my idea? Oh, stop. <laughs> Which, I mean, I understand. <laughs> it's fine. So I actually appreciated the way you hung in there on those slides because holy hell, that was some nightmare fuel. I'll give it a 73. Very good. <laughs> And I introduced him once already, but one more time, because God, do you get put through it every single year. Silly C. <laughs> Merch God. Merch God? Yeah. Just read oh, your score. I gave you a compliment. Just read your fucking score. <laughs> he always wants more. Stop talking over me. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you know, I was, again, a little disappointed of, with the you can't fuck Furbies that just shows a lack of effort. So uh, I really just had to go uh, down the middle on this one, uh, 50 Furby pelts. So, <laughs> okay. So there's got to be one. And our final judge, uh, Mux Lux. Hello, Mux. Give it up for Mux. Hi, Mom. <laughs> so... 
I thought it was very creative. I liked the murder. The murder was really good, honestly. But um, not a lot of the fucking, honestly. Could use more. Um, it's just like the rule that we all know. Um, I gave it a 34. And a lot more murder. So I uh, hope you like it. Merry Christmas. What I really enjoy about all of you is you cheered her for a 34 and you booed Mog for a 40. <laughs> Give it up for yourselves. I fucking love you guys. All right, let's get this party moving because uh, Liptile's going to fucking stab me if I'm not done on time. Uh, Ebby. Ebby, are you here and still willing to come up here? Yes, you are. Give it up for Ebby. Let's get this stupid Furbies off the screen. <laughs> Where's my shit? This is gonna be the whole time. 30 minutes of this contest is me just finding where my uh, slides are. Don't look at the titles. Don't you? Hi. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Take your card. I'm a real human who exists in person. 22? Yes, 22. Let's go 22. You can usually tell by the title what it's gonna be about. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. you know, this is oh no. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, uh, Ebby, go grab your microphone. Uh, this, uh, no, this one's hot. Okay, this one's hot. All right. Go at it, Ebby. Hello, everyone. I am very excited to share with you all today. Oh, apologies, jumping ahead here. I am Ebby, which is short for an MD5 hash that begins EB76. You may have seen me on Discord. I did write the whole thing down, and I'm a little disappointed it didn't get read out. However, today I am here to talk to you about feckless leaders. They are a bunch of asshats. Next slide, please. I'm barely holding my shit together right now. You're lucky I got your name. <laughs> <clears throat> She wrote them, I didn't do it. So, very, very many companies have engaged in a huge number of stupid actions, especially in our industry. We've got some highlights here. We've got Broadcom, then purchased by VMware, rebranded as VM, or sorry, we have Broadcom, which then purchased VMware. Um, we have Qualys Cybersecurity Asset Management, and we have this screen from Whose Slide Is It Anyway in DEF CON 2026. A very important Whose Slide Is It Anyway, as I'm sure Jesus. we all remember, all having been there and definitely watched every slide extremely attentively. Next slide, please. I literally just noticed that was my face on there. <laughs> you know, part of why I've highlighted you in this deck about feckless leaders is that I think it's important to keep in mind that even if we're standing right next to someone on stage, we might not know how far away they are. So for example, right now, I'm in a state of rando warning. You are here. <laughs> Whereas other people, I, I've heard Archons here somewhere, maybe hidden away in the knock. I haven't seen any evidence of this though, so that's gonna be a goon watch. I like food analogies to compare to this. For example, a chocolate cake watch is all the ingredients on the counter. A chocolate cake warning, there's a cake here. We've got a number of warnings on this stage right now. <laughs> and I am not going to tell you who we are warning of. Next slide, please. So, <laughs> Some people would argue that in the absence of strong leadership, we might think that not only does everything eventually become a crab, all crabs are lobsters. That is a lie. Furbies are not crabs, and crabs are not lobsters. We are not going to play that game. We are just going to move on to the next slide, and today, what we are going to focus on is lorem ipsum. Under the feckless leadership available in some parts of our industry today, you might find that there is Darmok and Jalad at your Tanagra. <laughs> now, is that really the caliber of communication that we want here at DEF CON? At least one person does. <laughs> like, fuck yeah! <laughs> 
When we try to communicate through stories and emotions and that kind of personal connection that feckless leaders may employ, it makes us as mad as this cat. Oh, I don't have slides behind me. I keep pointing at over there. As mad as this cat. However, some of us will be lucky enough to experience the hacking of our Neuralink chips, replacing all of those attempts at leadership and emotional connection and stories with the only story we really need. We all know that Rick Astley is never going to give us up. He is never going to let us down. He will never run around and desert you. He will never make you cry. He, he will never say goodbye. He would never tell a lie just to hurt you. Unlike Broadcom. Next slide, please. <laughs> We're, we're running a little bit short on time today, so I'm going to have to unfortunately skip over David Zaslav, but if you'd like to hear more about this slide, come see me after. Next slide, please. Expertly done. <laughs> Very so. I, I really want all of you to remember today that it's okay to admit you're wrong because no one is right all the time except for Rick Astley and the people who reminded us that you can, in fact, fuck a Furby. May we all live a long and fucked up life full of many, many codes that are a little bit blurry on this screen. I think we should have more crickets about it. Next slide, please. In closing, despite all my dread, I am still just a bird made of bread and not, in fact, a lobster. Thank you. We normally have like a five minute time limit, but these first two, like, fuck it, like, we'll just let them go as long as they want. Uh, first down to Evil Mog, what do you give? Ebby, please. Is this gonna be every fucking time? <laughs> uh, what? Okay. I, because I'm a dick, um, I'm gonna put 20 down on this, just because I think she missed a serious opportunity with the VMware Broadcom. I mean, a number of those slides were just done at Prime for shenanigans, and the you know, shot just wasn't taken. Well, you're, you're gonna boo me too then, because I got 15 missed opportunities up here. Look, any, oh no, 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 no. Anytime Qualys fucking CSAM shows up on a slide and you don't call that out, right? That's, mm, 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 that's criminal. All right, well, you booed them, so all of you are gonna cheer for me. Uh, I'm going with 69 billion, because that's the price Broadcom paid for uh, the <laughs> Exactly, enough said. Also, just to remind you, Furby is love. Furby is life. All right, I'm going with 52 plus 10 for the slamming of Broadcom, which I'll take any day. Any Broadcom middle managers in the audience tonight? <laughs> I hope so. So, I have to say that, you know... We don't have to name names here. I'm going with 93 feckless asshats. <laughs> so I really liked it, but I think it could have been a little bit better, I'm gonna be honest, because you could have put more bread in there. <laughs> I want more bread. more bread. Especially give me that Texas Roadhouse bread. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you an 81. Respectable. Because 801. Right, very good. Emmy, thank you so much. Give it up for Emmy one more time. Those are yours. Thank, thank you, you very much. Him, Matt. By the way, I should uh, cover, we don't just have these people come up to embarrass themselves for nothing. They do get prizes. Uh, the first place winner gets a, uh, a badge for next year's DEF CON, courtesy of whose side? Second place uh, gets a badge for tomorrow if they have a friend or just want to sell it. It's up to them. Uh, but that's our second place prize. And uh, third place prize gets the lesson that they should have fucking done better. <laughs> Thor! Holy shit, he's massive. He really is Thor. Welcome, my friend. You're going to pick from the cards that are getting very sweaty in my pants. A lot of nervous laughter at that one. <laughs> Slide number 26. How many minutes does it take me to find the 
goddamn mouse. There we go. No, I don't need music from you. So much longer and blonder. Stop it! Cause they're gonna, they're gonna. <laughs> oh, Jesus fuck. <laughs> Feeling very attacked on my own goddamn contest. <laughs> All right, Thor, take it away. All right, so this is a, <laughs> my name's Thor, by the way. Uh, this is my first DEF CON, too, so. Holy shit! Yeah. Uh, I actually went to the salon and had them do me up like this, so this is a whole slide deck all about me. Uh, but I got real fucked up last night, uh, and so now I look like this. So I'm, I'm trying to go for the Guy Fieri, and I'm trying to do the splits and be, be, be like this, but uh, we'll see how it goes. On the next slide, what you're going to see is I'm trying to be your flavor savior, right? I am trying to bring you to the Papa John's over here so you can get all the pizza that you need at, at where are we? DEF CON! DEF CON! Uh, no, uh, actually, that's pretty on brand after night one. Like, we, yeah. uh, a, I'll allow it, I'll allow it. I mean, I'm just a chef with, uh, with tips, so, uh, and boy, talk about tips, last night was crazy. Next slide, though. Um, so, what you gotta see here is, this is how I came to be. Uh, you know, again, Guy Fieri slash Thor, I, I kinda came down from the skies, uh, and it was, it was ugly. I, I'm just gonna admit, it was, it was not, oh shit, you're recording this, aren't you? I'm like, I actually have job interviews next week, so I'm fucked if any of this gets posted. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. So, yeah, anyway, uh, between uh, dudes with blonde hair and masks, that is, that's how I came to be. On the next slide, you're going to see how that happened. And it was a wild night in Vegas getting tattoos that, oh, God, that... So, originally this was on a salami. Um, and I said, fuck that, I want that salami tattoo on my, I don't, I don't know where that is. And, and I don't know why he's got a little cum coming out of his beard. Oh my God, that's really bad. Uh, but, yeah, that's, he's got your sunglasses. Okay. Um, I let the audience tell me to say next slide. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes um, they have the rain us in. <laughs> so, like, we're going to talk about again where I came from, and it, it's, it's as hot as the sun, um, and little peppers? Oh, no, those are the sunglasses. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm old. I had a Commodore Vic 20 at one point, so my eyes are shit. Uh, yeah, see, the old guys know. Uh, anyway, on the next slide, you know, you're going to see... That's my show, and if you can recognize me from this, you need to eat where this guy eats, because then you'll get this nice big belly, and then you won't have to eat a Papa John's during the day, because that pizza sucks. Next. Okay. So, if I hold my breath long enough, I end up looking like this. Um, yeah. On the next... No. <laughs> oh. Fuck! But that's what I'd expect from you guys. Nice. All right. I shit you not. I thought I just opened up my browser for a second, and I was like, fuck! <laughs> no! <laughs> All right. So I'm recently, like, going to be divorced in October, so this is my new Tinder profile. Yeah. yeah. Holy yeah. shit, give it up for fucking divorce! Yeah. The decimation of the family fucking unit! Uh Okay, no, okay, that was too far, I understand. No, oh, no. I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, therapy. And, and after we get off, I can talk to you about hidden fucking cameras that you show the cops, and then they arrest her. Uh, yeah. Right. Woohoo! Fuck you! Yeah. All right. So there's this, like, 34 rule on the internet, and they say that if it... it this goes back to the hidden camera thing. Now, mine got me out of jail... But a lot of other people that post that shit on, on some websites that we can't get to in Virginia now because you got to age verification and shit, so <laughs> fuck all that. That's why VPN to Texas. Next slide. <laughs> Everything's okay in Texas. So 
you got to come with me to Flavortown. We're going to go go out drinking tonight. I'm going to pay uh, Reagan 50 bucks and we're going oh, yeah. we're going drinking cuz right. you got me up here, man. I owe you 50 bucks. That just changed your score. <laughs> <laughs> uh, See? Bribes. <laughs> so, and if you get me drunk enough, I will whisper in your ear, "Take me to Flavortown." That changed it again. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Okay, let's go to our judges. They're still debating. Oh, he's smart. He's like, here's the fucking middle one. All right, we're going to start from me, I guess. So, uh, for dripping with flavor all over that town. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and because you're new, 97, and welcome to DEF CON, my friend. Slightly horrified, but also <laughs> welcome to DEF CON 94. Uh, I have uh, problems with you, sir. So I start your score off at 100, and you mentioned your tips without saying that they're fucking frosted tips. Minus 50, right there. Fro oh, come on! <laughs> that you said tips. Well then. Hey, 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 hey. Don't king shame the tips. Alrighty. Uh, uh, that was obviously flavor on his tongue. Come on. On the tattoo? That was flavor. Minus 50. But I'm willing to give you 25 points because you're going to get Reagan drunk tonight, so. Hello. Hello. So your score was very complicated for me, so I had to do some math, okay? Um, I'm bad at math, so this was really hard for me. So just like CrowdStrike's computers, um, you really took yourself down. And I respect that. I respect a man who's willing to put himself down to raise others up. That was amazing. Thank you. But I gave you an 83 for the amount of therapy your children are going to have to go through. And that's per hour. Merry Christmas, and welcome to DEF CON. Took exactly 28 minutes to get to a CrowdStrike joke. Yeah. All right, let us go. Oh, hello. Hey. Oh, wait. Still got the other end you went there. out of fucking order. Hey, yeah, we did go out of order. Absolutely. All right, okay, go. So, hey, fantastic work. Presentation was dripping with something. Definitely was in flavor. Um, I'm going to give you 60 age verification bypasses because clearly <laughs> that's something you're into. I mean, I'm stingy anyways, but I'll give you a bonus because you're new, so let's call it 50. <laughs> Boo! I'll get on board. He's my own judge. Boo! Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Welcome to DEF CON. Thank you. Seriously, I'll, my, my favorite question when I'm gooning any line is to get a show of hands about who the first uh, deaf time, or the first timers are here, because that's how we keep this fucking thing going and get new hackers in here. So, fucking welcome, my friend. All right, we may have time for maybe two more, because uh, I can feel Lintile's eyes fucking darting into me. Uh, Kelsey, where are you, Kelsey? Yeah. Woo! Yay! Woo! Did you leave her? Look at you. Fanciest dresser here on the stage tonight. Give a round of applause for Kelsey. Canadians are supposed to be fucking helpful, Jesus. Hey, that don't count as a bribe. That's not. No, it does not. Oh, wait. Yeah, bribes. Yeah, they happen. Uh, uh, I've, I'm new here. They can't, they can't hear you, darling. Go grab yourself a microphone. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Apparently, they didn't hear what I said. We're short on time. Kelsey, <laughs> <laughs> um, pick a card. Oh, my God. Okay. They think they're fucking funny giving me blank cards. <laughs> Remember when I said I don't QA the slides? I don't fucking QA blanks. anything. Don't listen to anything he says. 21! 
Something about Vegas, whatever. Uh, okay. Uh, from the middle. Yeah, no shit. Did everybody's asshole just pucker just a little bit with the, <laughs> with the uh, slide? Kelsey, not go mine. right ahead. Not mine. Not, not yours. This one will be good. Um, I'm a little nervous. Is it true this is recorded? I don't know. I've never had a camera for this one before. Um, <laughs> Which is why they keep having this back because there's no fucking evidence of the other ones. I mean, I guess I don't care. My dad stopped loving me a long time ago, so... Um, let's do this. It's going to be that kind of presentation. Um, so, thank you for making a comment on my dress. I did meet up with someone the other day in the same dress, and they didn't say anything about it. How so dare they? I wasn't sure um, if it looked good or not. I cannot wear underwear with it because it is see-through. So, literally, my biggest fear is I'm just going to, you know. So, I'm nervous. <laughs> You have nine more slides to get through. Okay. I will do that fast. I just want to... Half of these people are wondering, why is this girl in a white dress? She is not pure. She is not wifey material. 100% of these people are just waiting for Hacker Jeopardy. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. The other half... The other half are like, why is this girl all sweaty with her tits out? Um, they want to hear about normal. audits. Look, okay. <sighs> Audits, okay, okay! What, is, what does the gong mean? Audit. Wait, really? I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know that was a thing. That's because you were late. <laughs> <sighs> there was a whole thing, I cried and everything. I, I cry when I'm late, too. Trust me. Let's go to the scoring of the judges. What? Wait, should, should, we, should we let her? I just really wanted to hit the gong. Um, that hurt my... That, like, I feel kind of sad. What was that? I feel a little bit sad. I told, I told you this was going to be the first year you did not see me cry, and that's about to come untrue. He sees me cry every year. All right, let's... Okay, let's, audit. let's reconsider this for a moment. Let's be fucking... Yeah! Thank you, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> let's, go, let's go to the scoring. <laughs> this is the... Oh, really? I'm scoring? sorry, this judging yes. committee is oh. giving you a zero across the board due to the double gong. I, I actually had to score to two disappointed parents, but... Uh, <laughs> I... I didn't know we were scoring anything. Did it start? Like, were we? Uh, what? What? I see audits and some dude screaming, "Risk accepted." I'm a nervous rambler. They make me. Do you have any idea how hard my taxes are? That makes me fucking nervous. I have no idea about taxes either. What are those? For OnlyFans, they are difficult, and it is. Sorry, it's a zero for it me. Is a, you okay. need to present the slides. I I honestly didn't know that was um, my presentation. This is the best possible way this could have ended. <laughs> I. I, I honestly, I didn't know that was it. I, I'm sorry. No. You're, you're, you're perfect. You're fine. This is, this hey, is wonderful. I give you a 10. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Carl. It's good to know there are still some gentlemen out there. I never said I was a man. I never called you one. Okay, huh? this is going to work. Can I have Next. So I'm going to give you an audits out of zero. I'm sorry. I need those audits, man. It's, a, it's okay. Thank you. It's okay. It's just... You're a discussion item. <laughs> Next question. Please, everybody give it up for Kelsey. Sorry, I can't read. <laughs> Why? Okay. Luckily, we do have time for one more. Uh, Rast. Rast, are you here? Ah, oh, welcome, Rast. Yes, go ahead. 
Welcome, sir. I don't know why I handed the mic back to them. Yeah, We've only been doing this for 36 fucking minutes. Hello? Okay, cool. Oh, you, you want to see the audits? Who wants to see him do the audit side? Who wants a new deck? Okay, he's going to do the audit side. Oh, boy. All right. Um, I'm Dr. Evil, uh, and I'm here to present to you uh, a guide to passing audits. Next slide. So audits, everyone hates them, um, but what? you still have to deal with them anyway, uh, just like my coworkers. So uh, with audits, you've got mostly guidelines, uh, very little else, uh, some bureaucracy in the middle occasionally <laughs> that you also have to deal with that you hate dealing with, just like my coworkers. Um, so nobody got fired for failing one that we went through recently. Um, I broke a print server. Uh, it was not supposed to be broken. Um, so you can find out that nobody really cares with you know the mild amount of bureaucracy in the middle between stuff getting done and your coworkers. Um, so. The compliance uh, doesn't read the reports. Th that team, just not a big deal. Um, consulting, also a bunch of people that you have to deal with that you don't really want to. So when Deloitte comes knocking on your door, um, it's because someone needs a pay package and they need some reason to you know, report why their earnings went down. Uh, that wasn't their fault. Uh, next slide. <laughs> All right. Typical consultant makes me do all the fucking work. <laughs> so the law of birds and fishes, uh, the law of fear is how you rule. And this is a real problem with audits because you just fear that they're going to come up. Um, and I created this slide specifically to give you that sense of fear when there's a bunch of dead horse is getting kicked or shot and such. Um, and tactics, right? Tactics with dealing with audits. So you want to delay, misdirect, reframe the question when you're given one, and question qualifications, extended breaks, lunch, run out the clock like I'm trying to do right now. And <laughs> <laughs> next slide. And you're going to do everything you possibly can to try to get past the suicide walls and try to get off the building. Uh, next slide. Uh, so real pictures here of some of my coworkers failing to get past the suicide walls. Um, so next slide. So IT. Um, gosh, Bill Gates looks much better there. Um, so what I think I do, uh, in comparison to everything else, is I just put uh, Vim into green, and then all of a sudden all my coworkers think I look awesome. Uh, any Emacs users in here? Hey. Oh. Oh, oh, we okay, hit the okay. sacred cow. All right. With a train. <laughs> I know just enough. No nope, pad plus plus. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Who let you in here? All right. So some alternative methods of circumventing audits. Um, RMRF, the database. Uh, that's why you have backups uh, so that you can just not update them and then uh, go on vacation for three weeks with the juniors to fend for themselves. Um, this is also the juniors fending for themselves. Um, yeah, they, they're in a different line of work now, as you can see from this picture. Um, <clears throat> the altered state of sobriety I was in when I made this slide. Um, I'm going to have to like go into the avatar state real quick. Uh, yeah, this was my boss after the juniors. Oh. Thank you, chat. Give it up for Rast. All right, we got to do this real fucking fast. Let's go through our scoring very light and quick. Speed. Okay, Mog is a zero. That's fine. Gong. Gong, I got, All right. gong is a score, sure. 
AI will save us oh, is also a score. Course. 57. Hey. Okay, there's some kind of number on there, 57? Uh, I just, I learned that uh, the ISACA definition of audits is that they're guidelines from you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, sorry, no points. Okay. Zero points, okay, very good. My dead horse. And a dead horse. <laughs> All right. And this is how it is. Do we have our winners? Do you have a top one, two, and three? Come here, Bob, just come up here. So our score is here. This is about where it goes off the rails if it hasn't already. Oh, All right, go ahead. So our scores here were actually pretty good. It's not that bad. Um, our first contestant got an average score of 55. No bribes, no penalties, no modifiers somehow. So final score of 55. Second contestant got a 56.833333 repeating. Um, contestant number three got 60.833333 repeating. I just want the top fucking three, Jesus Christ. Those were the top three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. <laughs> All right, fine. Contestant number three was number one. Contestant number two was number two. Contestant number one was number three. Fucking what? Goddamn points. So that was Thor. Thor. So, so Thor's our winner. Yeah. Thor is your winner. All right, all right, come on up here, Thor. <laughs> and I, I, now I couldn't be happier that his grand prize is uh, you get a badge from who's side for next year. Yeah. So welcome back already. That's the number two. Was number two. Abby! Woo! Abby, where are you? Oh, there you are. I was sneaky. I came from the other side this time. Why is this always so fucking hard? Um, you get, I have a leftover badge. Uh, you can see fit to give this to anybody you want. You can keep it. You can do whatever you want with it. But that is your second place prize. Thank you. And, again, number three should have fucking tried harder. Anyway, we are coming up against the Hacker Jeopardy is up next. I want to personally thank you uh, for having us back. This is, was our eighth year that we've been here. I don't know how. Uh, they weren't lying when they said in the beginning, I thought that the gag was getting old and I was going to retire the show. And then the next day, somebody came and was like, that's the funnest fucking shit I've ever seen. So we're going to keep doing this. Did you like it? Thank you to all my slide masters, my judges, and everybody who makes this uh, contest worth it. Uh, stay tuned for Hacker Jeopardy. Yeah.